Hi everyone, it's Taryn. And Stella from Meeple University. Thanks for joining us. Today we'll show you a quick how to play or overview for Zombie Puppies, a Barktastic strategic battle card game. Stay tuned. If you find value from this video later, please hit the like button. Subscribe to us, hit the bell and leave your feedback in the comments. Now let's get to the game. Zombie Puppies is a quick to learn set collection card game in which players try to protect their puppy from the dreaded zombie virus. It was designed and published by Nico and Lana and it plays 2-5 to five players in 5-45 to 45 minutes and is of light complexity. And so the story goes, an experimental antidote for Ebola has escaped the lab on the shoes of the professor and mutated into a terrible disease which turns puppies into zombies. Now it's a race against time and the other players. Be the first to collect the ancient chicken dog bone serum that you need to heal your puppy, or deflect the virus your opponent's way and be the last to cling on to a healthy puppy. Zombie Puppies is a card game with a set collecting and take that element. Each turn you will hold a hand of six cards, two from the pink infection deck and four from the cyan healing and action cards deck. Each turn you can play one card of each type and then redraw back up to six. When you play an infection card, give it to an opponent in an attempt to infect their puppy. Each card goes in one of four pillars, A, B, C or D. Have five cards of the same type in front of you and you lose. When you play a healing card, play it in front of yourself, again into the A, B, C or D pillar. Have three of the same type and you discover the cure and win the game. Even if you don't complete the full set, healing and infection cards cancel each other out and so the game is a constant push or pull. Keeping enough healing cards to prevent your opponents from zombifying your puppy and sending enough infections your opponent's way to hinder their chance at victory. The Cyan deck also has game breaking action cards letting you swap with or steal from opponents, or play additional cards or protect against attacks. A well-timed action card can be just what you need to break open a stalemate. The game continues going around the table until a player collects three healing cards of the same type. The game escalates when a player gets close, with the professor joining the latest player to gain a second matching healing card. This permits that player to play two infection cards per round instead of one. When a player gains the third matching healing card, then the game is over and that player wins. The game can also be won by the last player standing. Get stuck with five infection cards of the same type and your puppy becomes a zombie and you can no longer win. But that doesn't mean you're out of the game. You can still play an infection card on your turn exacting well-earned revenge on the opponents who betrayed you. Zombie Puppies is a quick to learn card game, equal parts luck and timing. With take that opportunities available, the game has a natural catch up mechanism as players work to be the one to make that final decisive move for victory. And that's our quick how to play of Zombie Puppies, a bugtastic strategic battle card game. Hopefully it's been useful. We are using a prototype copy of the game here, so the rules and components may not be final and do check out the project page for the game, we'll put a link to that in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please help us by hitting the like button. Subscribe to us, you can also hit the meeple in the corner to do that and hit the bell icon so you'll know when we have new videos. You can also follow me on Instagram for my board games journey. And if you have any questions, comments or feedback, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and see you next time!